Hello, David Tritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. All right, we've got a handful of days until the movie comes out and we're still having unveiling discussions about Bond brands and Bond associated brands in the movie. And today we've got an exciting one because it really begins a long time ago when we first started seeing images from the film. First of all, I'm wearing an outfit, watch, jacket, the pants, everything including the t-shirt, wait for it, that you see Bond wearing when he opens up this garage. We see that he pulls the cover off of his V8. There's Bollinger cases in the background. There's racks of clothing. It's gonna be an amazing moment. I mean, when we talk about Bond lifestyle, that in and of itself is gonna be chilling in, in the best way, goosebump moment. And then the other grouping of photos that we saw was this outfit right here. And of course it is Bond in retirement. And let's face it, anytime that we get a snapshot of Bond in his life, living his life, that is something that harkens back to Fleming. And we all love it. Those are the things that we drink from in the Bond franchise. And we're clearly going to get one with Bond in Jamaica, which has incredible Fleming roots. And so these images that you see here that just really came fast and furious, and now we're starting to get some more official ones, really started to tell a story about what does Bond like to wear when he isn't being the secret agent, when he's not wearing the Tom Ford suits. Well, typically I would do right about now an unboxing of something, right? I tell you the pomp and circumstances, but guess what? This is like a palm olive commercial. You're already soaking in it because I'm wearing, I'm wearing what we're talking about today. And that is of course the all of our brown OBT shirts that Bond wears in No Time to Die. Now again, eagle-eyed people know that a while ago we started to see these and I'm gonna get up nice and close so you could start to see what these look like. I've had OBT shirts for years. I live in them. Uh, the t-shirts fit me right, and we'll talk about fit first. So the OBT, first of all, is a staple in all of our Browns lineup. They're there all throughout the seasons. They've been there for years, and why? Well, first of all, they're very simple, right? They're very unassuming. You've got this kind of boat crew neck type situation right here, which flatters a lot of body styles. The fit itself, and I'll show you from the side here, this is a size medium, and I am a 30, and I'm a 40, 41 chest. So if you have somewhat of an athletic build, we've talked about mesomorphs and ectomorphs and things like that, it's going to flatter you, um, especially around the chest. It is tapered. And what we mean by tapered is it doesn't just go down like a rectangle. It actually has some width here and then it tapers down. So when you stand to the side, for example, you can see that it contours to the shape of your body. And that's part of all of our Brown's essence. That's what they do. It's about tailored and fitted clothing. And speaking of fitted, here is the bicep. Okay. So the, the sleeve of the bicep is a little bit higher. And it is a little bit, I wouldn't say tighter, but it's, it's, it's trim to your bicep. So it does flatter it in a nice way, right? And here we go, here's the back. So you could see that from uh, a semi-athletic standpoint, this is the right shirt. Now, this is a size medium. I could have gone small, but I, I want a little bit of fit. I don't want this to be like, like, like airbrushed on me. There's no point in that. This is about comfort. This is really about comfort. It's not just about fashion and style. And so with the OBTs, for example, I tend to always go with these as my undergarments because of the feel. These have, and again, it's cotton, but the way they treat the cotton, it is a very combed, softened cotton. It's very thin. This is not a thick, thick, t-shirt that are like, oh, it's kind of cold out. I think I'll wear this. No, 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 no. This is, this is like material. This is very, very lightweight. It moves with you. You can see my mic camera right there because this is real. We're not going to edit that out. These are real. I'm not cutting. Um, and the nice thing about this is Bond. When you think about Bond and his choices of his brands in this, this uh, fantasy world that Bond lives in, you think about him wanting the best. You think want to think about him wanting things that fit him well, but they have to move. They have to perform and they have to feel 
great. So when he tucked this under his RGT into his genes, you know that he was saying, you know something, I don't want to think too much, right? I want to relax. Maybe I'm coming off of a plane. Maybe I'm coming from an explosion. I'm kind of beaten up. You can see I'm a little weathered. I just, I don't want to overthink things. I'm going to throw on an Olimar Brown OBT. He probably doesn't go through all of those trappings like we just did, but here it is. So the OBT, we're going to put a link down below that he wears under this jacket. Here it is. No time to die related. But as you know now, it's not the only one. Let's go check this out. Okay, well, now I'm much more comfortable. Of course I am. I'm in the, what's affectionately called Bond's retirement outfit. And there was a lot of speculation early on about this t-shirt. A lot of brands were thrown out there. There was even a brand out there uh, that had a t-shirt that they made with tiny holes in it. So you see Bond with tiny holes because he's not the buttoned up secret agent anymore. He doesn't need to be totally buttoned up and spot on. He can have little holes. He's been living a real life and a rough and tumble. Well, not so much. Look at that beautiful place at Cocoa Walk, but it's, it's a life that is out in the ocean. He's in his boat. He's going fishing. He's spear fishing. He's living kind of the Fleming life. Now, this t-shirt, this is another OBT. It is in the gray. It is kind of a, a light gray. And you can see I've even paired it. This is all you're going to see of my flamingo legs. That's it. That's it. That's all you're going to get. But I'm wearing it with the shorts. And of course, I have his uh, lovely retirement watch. Who knows if it will do anything. But this is just as comfortable as that white one. It's got that same, we'll get up nice and close, that same type of hand that you're used to. And you okay, got to wear the... Uh, the croquis with the varnays. There we go. Now I'm looking the part. Fully booted, suited. I don't think that's appropriate. But one of the nice things is, is that this is, you can see when you feel this, and I'm going to kind of shake it like this, the lightness of this. And there's that silhouette again. It's, it is uh, wonderfully hemmed. It's got this scalloped hem, but it's wonderfully fitted. To your body. It's not skinny. It's not shrunk wrap on. Again, this is a size medium as well. And by the way, I keep fidgeting. You can see the length of this. I keep fidgeting with this. What's interesting about these shirts is they really don't shrink a lot here. I find that they shrink just the tiniest bit in the length. So this will eventually be the perfect, perfect length for me. Now, it looks as though, this is total speculation, it looks in the movie as if with Bond, they gave him maybe a size medium. He's, he's obviously a little bit bigger than me. Um, definitely bigger than me. Good for you, Simon Waterson. Um, but they probably gave him a medium and then tailored it so it was tighter on him. I would, if I wanted to get a screen accurate look, I would go with that. Now that over there is the same OBT, but it is a small and it would fit me like you see it fit him in the movie. This is a medium. This is what I would wear on the human David Zeritsky, not trying to be screen accurate because I don't need something that's that tight. I want something that's a little bit loose is going to move with me. And the nice thing about these OBTs, lest you think they're only good for getting holes in them and catching uh, mahi mahi, they're fantastic for pairing in a nicer situation. If you put nice chinos with this or a nice pair of slacks and you put like a light uh, cardigan over it, you're done you're done because it's got that aesthetic that is dressed up and yet subtly dressed down. Could I be more confusing? But it's true. You'll, you'll see what I mean. So again, link below on where to get this. And I was so happy to hear that all of our Brown was back because let's face it, they were in Skyfall. They were absolutely fantastic. We've seen them through their uh, wonderful evolution of their heritage line. And now they're back as a Bond brand in the movie. So there you go. There's my detail. Not much more. These are made in Portugal, made out of cotton. By the way, Portugal, Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Not too shabby of a bond connection, but try them on for yourself. I think you're going to really like it, the hand and the feel. Trust me when I say this, you're going to like it. Oh, well, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be 
up on the latest from the bond experience just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel you're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content and by the way speaking of content here's something especially for you just because we know you talk to you soon